Hello, Mark Crossfield. Comments from YouTube, let's get them answered. Let's get stuck in. So comment from YouTube, good video with some interesting results. This is on the video where I was talking about hitting down or hitting up to change the distance I was hitting the ball. Uh, why didn't you give the lesson on what you did different? Uh, you said in the first three that you had a descending blow and the other three you had an upward blow, but what did you do different? Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. Uh, sense. Deck 73, I think that says. Uh, what do I do different? It's very simple. In that video, it's very simple as well. You can change ball positions to help you change angle of attacks, move it back, move it forward. But I don't like to do that with my drive. I like to keep the ball in a pretty neutral place. I literally change the way I turn. So when I want to hit down on the ball, I literally feel like I turn on top of the ball. And that tends to give me, when I measure myself with that feeling, a descending blow. And if I want to increase that descending blow, I would even turn, which to me feels like I move slightly forward of the ball and then drive through, which then increases the descent of my hit. That's how I feel it. That's the feeling in my head I use, which successfully changes the date of the numbers to get me hitting the right shot. If I want to hit up at the ball, I would turn fraction more behind the ball. So I'm not swaying everything back. What I'll do is I'll have a little bit more side bend and so as I turn I'll actually tilt a bit more to the right in my feelings my foot so I feel like I'm moving my chest more over my right foot but my hips aren't going there staying pointing towards the target so I get this kind of tilt in my upper body which then makes me feel like I'm hitting up at the ball and when I hit those shots using those feelings not facts that's what I'm feeling that changes the data on track man significantly enough for me to do that video and change my ball flight accordingly. So I'm thinking about the way I'm turning more than any fundamentals that you could play with with ball position or what have you. But think about turning on top of it if you want to hit slightly lower, turn behind it a little bit more if you want to attack it a little bit more from behind and on the way up. Certainly works for me. Give it a go, see if it helps you. Hello, Mark Crossfield here. I'm at the Players Club here in Bristol. Beautiful venue. I mean, look at holes like this. Come and play this course. It looks fantastic. So April the 25th, 2013, I'm running my first golf day. Really excited. Going to be a chance to meet all you viewers who want to come along and get involved. We're going to have a morning of coaching, 18 holes of golf, some lunch as well at this beautiful venue. So you're more than welcome to take part. Watch my Facebook, Twitter feeds, as well as other videos for further information. But we can all get stuck in together here at the Players Club in just outside of Bristol. Speak to you all soon, guys, and thanks for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.